Happy holidays, everyone. To celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support, I am offering a 25% off coupon, and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck coming in for your person is a page of cups. Your person feels as though this relationship is very, um, it's naive, it's like uh, immature, like it hasn't graduated to a level of importance that they think indicates a commitment. That's what I'm getting. This is like that first little crush, but that's how, the, that's what they think of you in terms of their energy. Your person, Leo, feels disappointed, sad. They feel as though you've friend-zoned them in terms of the overall energy. So right now, your person, Leo, does not really feel as though they're in this energy that is very helpful to anything, any sort of a commitment. Now, your energy coming into the reading is the moon maiden, the new beginning. So here you are, you know, you, you're you very much getting in touch with your feelings. You have a radical acceptance that you love this person. And we see the cosmic womb, the divine feminine. So to you, this is something that's very precious. But when I look at the moon, that is hidden energy and the cosmic womb is yet to be birthed, so to speak. You do love this person, but your person doesn't really necessarily feel that love from you. They do feel a friendship love. So when we look at how your person is thinking about you, Leo, we see them really wanting. The temperance card is Sagittarius. We have Pisces. We have Scorpio. And we have a lot of emotion. Pisces, Scorpio, and cancer so your person is pretty much in their feels about you but when we look at what their thoughts are they want to balance everything out your person the temperance card is about the alchemist it's about working things out it's returning to an earlier time in your relationship when there was uh, more love shown by you is how they feel the six of cups is a reunion but i'm not really seeing so much that there's been a separation they just feel like you might be you know bored with the relationship your person feels as though you know they're they're in this energy of being shocked at the fact that they they have this deep feeling of love for you um, they really don't want to tell you, though. They, they don't want to tell you until you make an offer. So the Ace of Cups is new love, a new beginning in love, and we actually see that you feel the same way. But right now, your person is thinking that it's falling apart. They think that you're having a tower moment. And we can see that with this feeling of sadness, the Five of Cups. They feel like you've kicked over the cups of love, that they didn't expect that, they didn't see it coming. And so they feel as though, again, like I said, you friend zone them. This is Cancerian energy. The high priestess is your person also just thinks that you're not really up to make a big offer. Again, pages are messages, but we have a page and a page. So that's how they're thinking of you in terms of what's going on between the two of you. In terms of their feelings, they feel abandoned. They feel like you've walked away. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> I've never done that before. Um, <clears throat> but in their feelings, they just feel as though you've walked away. That in the past, you know, you used to come towards them with a very good energy, you know, very Cancerian, very forthright. That in their heart space, they want that. They want that return to a, a really solid time in the relationship your person is really wanting feeling in their heart space like they don't have any option other than to give up you know you can't force somebody to love you as they say but the five of pentacles means that there probably is something your person isn't communicating with you either so it it shows me leo that they're feeling left out in the cold very much there's this, a very powerful theme of abandonment here, to be quite honest. 
And the key is here, the lock is here. They're not really looking at things very objectively, but they just feel like they have no choice in terms of, you know, what you're doing than to really sort of give up and just see what happens. The devil card says that they still want you, they've still chosen you, there's... But, you know, when somebody feels like you're still their person when they don't feel loved in return, or they don't feel that... that quality of love or elevated love or more advanced than pages you know the knights at least need to come in it just looks like your person feels like it. it's a very painful toxic situation they feel bound to you but you know tied to you in a way that doesn't feel good to them it doesn't feel good at all in terms of their intentions with you, they're really not going to talk to you. I mean, they feel as though you wouldn't really want to hear a message. They feel as though very much, uh, Leo, that you you don't want to hear any complaints or, you know, any, any attempts in the past to talk to you about things they don't feel has met with any really powerful positivity. Uh, we do see your person, though, you know, in their intention. They're not going to let you know. They're going to go on. They're going to carry on on the outside. They're putting on a very a strong face. They have fire in their belly, but this is the Heart of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. So they really see the two of you when things are good between the two of you. You know, they're, they, they feel as though there's a future, but in the meantime, because they feel as though you don't want to talk to them or you're not really talking to them, that at a low level, it's almost like being ghosted and they're watching you sort of disappear in front of their eyes, but you're right there. I mean, you haven't left because we see the King of Pentacles. That's your, excuse me, the King of Wands. That's Leo energy. There you are in your reading. But it does show that they've given up on trying to manifest. You know, they feel like there's so much magic in the relationship, but the Ten of Wands is here twice. It's sort of like, gosh, I can't carry the burden anymore. So in terms of their actions, Leo, your person is really underwater. We get the Heart of Swords. This is, you know, Pisces energy, and it, it's the energy of them feeling as though they're drowning in their emotions and on the outside, they're, they're not going to show you. They're just going to, this is a queen of swords, you know, the heart of swords is Libra energy trying to stay balanced. You know, we get the ace of cups here again. I mean, they truly love you. But again, the moon card and the moon card, I mean, they feel as though they don't have any options to tell you the truth. I mean, they just feel like this is something that you really haven't, for whatever reason, you know, reciprocated in love in the way that that they feel as though should have happened by now. And they just feel this is a card of just, you know, confusion, sadness, a feeling of loss, not knowing what to say or do, and just sort of turning out the lights, you know, on trying to communicate. Their love is very powerful. The soulmate card is here. That's Gemini energy. So when we look at, you know, the five of cups, we also get that in terms of their actions, they don't think there's an action they can take. They really don't. So I'm not seeing action as being a vibrant part of this relationship. The Five of Cups, the Five of Cups. Your person feels, I mean, there's two cups left, you know, which is very significant here. And you see it, but your person doesn't see it. Your person doesn't see this about you. They're, they're blind to it. They're you know, their head is down. So whatever's happening here in, the, in terms of a lack of communication, it's it's pretty powerful and pretty painful for your person. Um, I don't really see anything having happened here. I'm not seeing anything other than two people who do love each other, who have passion for each other. But, you know, you clearly have it because this is your energy. You feel like it's, you know, a love in progress. You know, you also see the new beginnings with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups, and you do love this person, but it does show that it creates, it, you are required to radically accept uh, something about the relationship that needs to happen. I'm going to go ahead and clarify with this. Um, I want to clarify the energy here of the, the Tower card. So tell us more, Spirit, about this Tower card, please. Give us more energy about the tower card 
Why is the Tower card here for your person and the way they feel or that their thoughts? They feel as though they've told you that they love you and that, surprisingly enough, you've really never reciprocated. You know, that's that toxic energy. The devil energy is like holding back, you know, trying to. They feel as though you definitely have a reason that you want to hold back and that it's kind of ca it's causing a crisis. And when we look at the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups is the energy that they think that, you know, you're not interested. That, you know, when the rat is covering the Four of Cups, it's creating toxicity in the cups of love. And so they just feel as though you're bored with them. That's exactly what they feel like. Traditional rider weight meaning is that you're taking them for granted or that you're bored with them. You know, they just, um, they don't know what to make of it, to tell you the truth. Let's see, why is the Page of Pentacles here? The Death card, yeah. They just think that if you don't make an offer pretty soon, that it really is over. They think it's over. They truly think that you've walked away. Why would they think this? The Three of Cups, friend zoning. So you're treating them like a friend. You're not treating them like a lover. They think that you're bored with them. You're not engaging much with them. The Five of Pentacles energy is clarified. Three of Wands. So your person has chosen you, but you have not chosen your person. We see that they've chosen you twice. But why do they think that you've, you know, your person may also think that you've chosen somebody else. Yep, that's what I'm getting. They feel left in the cold. They think that you've, you've left them. Uh, you've made a decision with this devil energy. Um, to let go of them and pursue a different love because we see this three of wands here with the lover's card and we see sadness with the lover's card and the moon they just think leo that you're not telling them that you've left and you've started a relationship elsewhere that's how i'm reading this so why is the two of swords here and why does your person feel as though you don't want to hear anything they have to say nine of wands Wow, that's really heavy. You know, we've got the Ten of Wands here and the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Wands, they just feel like you're carrying so many burdens right now in your life that it, they just can't really talk to you about it. The Father of Cups does say, though, the person loves you. I mean, they think that you're a good person, but, you know, for, for now, they just they feel as though you might be elsewhere, Leo. Now, we see the Heart of Wands and the Spirit of Wands, and we get the Daughter of Wands. Okay. So, when we get the Page of Wands, you know, the, the Knight of Wands, we do get the energy of not being sure, but your person feels as though you've gone elsewhere. They really do. They think that you've started a relationship that's not only giving up any sort of obligation to them or you know, any kind of real concrete security that you could give them, they feel like they've, they feel an emotional betrayal because it doesn't really look like you've spoken to this person. The three of coins energy here is telling me that they, your person does think you work a lot. That is a card. You may have met this person at work, but they just don't know what you're really doing. Tell us more. Eight of swords. So they're not going to talk to you about anything. They really aren't. Self-imposed restriction. Their, their action is just to put themselves in lockdown mode. They just don't think there's anything that they can do here to make this something that you'd really love to have. The star card says that they do love you. They think that you're the one. There is healing here that's available. Um, so what, let's see. So let's see what their actions are. I mean, they'll always love you. They're always going to, and right now, they're still open to being your lover. They're still open to it, but they're feeling very, very vulnerable. Like you don't see who they are. You don't, you know, you're not responding to it. The Five of Cups is clarified by justice. They feel as though it would be much kinder if you don't want to be the, with this person, Leo, to tell them they feel like there, there needs to be balance. Why is the Magician card here? The Sun card, yeah, they see you. There you go, Leo, and you're reading again. So, you know, you know how you feel, but your person is really lost here, Leo. And this can be vice versa. You know, this could be you, Leo, feeling this way about another person. 
and um, but your outcome at this time in this is that the two of you are family there's a very strong bond wolf spirit it's a very powerful bond for you they feel like you are family and they have gratitude Leo for having you in their life and and they have the courage to face whatever it is that you have to say to them they're just sort of waiting with bated breath to hear what it is that you have to say so Leo you know it's uh, it looks like you love this person and it looks like you're holding back and it looks like you're not really telling them anything I'm gonna go ahead and clarify um, this energy is this energy towards our your love interest Leo is this I mean it to me, it seems so obvious that, that that is how you feel about them, which was the question. But let's look and see if there's anything revealed. Moon Maiden, New Beginnings, the World Card, okay. Absolutely wanting a new beginning. There may be distance. For some of you, you may be in a different, literally a different country with the World Card. You may have had a period of enforced uh, separation for some of you. But the world card also is the very successful movement. I mean, it looks like you want to move in, to, to move to the next level. That Saturn energy, it's moving into more commitment. Son of Wands is the energy of, you know, being, um, you haven't really committed. That is the, um, the Knight of Wands energy. And your person is, you know, they're just not seeing what what this really they're just not seeing it you know you're staying quiet you're staying very balanced but why do we have the radical acceptance that you love this person leo well father of swords interesting you've spent a lot of time thinking about this now we have the queen and king of swords so intellectually you're very well matched what else what this radical acceptance temperance there we go oh there look you absolutely know that this relationship has to have a rebirth you know that you know your person knows that it looks like you're headed in that direction what else about the radical acceptance Herophant, wow so you know what this is revealing to me is what wasn't revealed earlier is that you really have very serious thoughts and feelings about a long-term commitment and it looks like this has been you know developing for a long time there's a magician oh my god leo oh my gosh your person you know again this can be vice versa and i think for many of you for some of you i know it's vice versa but what i'm getting here is that no matter which way it's flowing the energy is like you have two people madly in love with each other who are just not discussing it so that is your mission i guess is to try to figure this out and um so i am broadcasting from chicago uh and i would love to know what city from which you are watching this video sydney you love my friends thank you so much for joining me leo Bye -bye.